Austin Crane. Congratulations, guys. Let's give them a round of applause for season one. Amazing. And let's also welcome Eden to her series regular role. Yes. David and I were talking backstage about how he kind of forgot that she was not a series regular in the first season because when she showed up, it was like gangbusters. I don't pay close attention to the Yeah, you're just like phony sure. it. Um, season two is going to <laughs> try to focus on Holden being a normal kid. Um, having a normal life. Uh, this is not a normal person. How long do you think he can hold on to that? I, I think he, and, and as you sort of saw in season one, he really does strive for that normality in his life and wants to sort of pick up as he sort of left off. But um, he really tries to take a step forward. He gets a, a job with his dad. He is trying to move forward with a real world relationship with Willa, patching things up with his family. but. With the consequences of last season, you really start to see, as opposed to Holden trying to figure out and see the realm, the realm is coming for Holden this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we saw that in the clip, which is... It looks, like, it looks like season two is a lot scarier. Like, it's not just Holden like, oh, I have some powers, and <laughs> I'm like in Narnia. It seems like we've got like the walking dead coming for them. It's it, the the stakes are a lot more. You, you can tell right off the bat with this with this trailer. We're so excited. It gets it gets darker. It gets more intense, and it's it's fantastic. Our writers and creators are just absolutely blessed us this season. When you guys started creating this story, how much? How many seasons did you map out? Oh, I'll take this one. <laughs> um, we uh, we kept we kept it open. Uh, I, I always kind of had sort of an end game in mind, but it could stretch anywhere from five seasons to however many it takes to tell the story. So. And was the plan always to like, we'll, we'll destroy the bridge at the end of the first season and then watch the consequences <laughs> fall into place? Yeah, I, I think it was about um, Holden and his character. I, I, season one was basically the origin story, so it's in any origin story. Um, you know, he kind of reaches, you know, the hero's peak by the end of it. So that's, you know, Berkeley Holden, full on hero mode. Uh, and basically, uh, season two and subsequent seasons, perhaps, is just the fallout of that, where it's, you know, once we establish the world and we establish, you know, our characters, we get to dive into the, the complexities of what it means to be a hero. And that is the most fun about season two. Yeah. Is that, like, once you've set up where the players yeah. are, then you get to get into their stuff. Yeah, it's setting up, not to not to equate everyone to action figures, but it's, uh, every, yeah, all your action figures are on the table, yeah. and now it's just smashing them into each other. And it feels like, it, especially in the first two hours, um, we get a lot more information, or at least teases, as to what is actually going on with, with Charlie. Uh -huh. And also some very, very interesting stuff about Willa. Like stuff that, again, was one of those things where I was like, what? Oh, this is not, the fallout on this one is gonna be very interesting. Was that always the, did you know? I don't wanna spoil it, but did you know? <laughs> you that, knew what was gonna happen yeah. in season two? No, no, they don't tell us anything. Oh, okay. She still doesn't know. She films ten episodes. And Wait, what it's a just on the green screen. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's talk about casting because this is, Freeform has done an amazing job across the board with with the casting of, of their regulars. But these three in particular are such unique actors, and so um, it's such a cool dynamic because when you put Berkeley with either of the women. Um, there's a different hold. <laughs> yeah, there's a different hold that comes out. But also, and this is my favorite thing, and you guys will see more of this. There is a very different Willa and Charlie this season. Yeah. So where did you find these three? <laughs> oh, the street. Under various rocks. <laughs> like, you when, find when, like, when they came into a dream. When they came into audition, like, were you just blown away? Like, what yes. Oh, like, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, except for Eden, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she had to earn it. She had. To... <laughs> she had to work her way through season work one. Yeah. No, e Eden's audition. I, I can't speak because I wasn't here for your guys. But Eden's audition was. She looked completely different. She read it completely differently, and it was literally Adam and I sitting there looking at her, going, "Wait a minute." There's something about her. Right. So it, sometimes, you know, the way to get the part is to do it wrong. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On 
of the, one of the great things about casting is that you uh, you really look for somebody who um, who feels somewhat familiar to the audience in a way, uh, but but isn't, um, and that's the perfect sweet spot um, when the audience sees in the cat in the character and in the casting people that they know, people that they like, uh, people that they feel comfortable with, but they don't have any real associations with them that spoil that, you know. That